Hey guys, welcome to my new video. I wanted to show you and explain some things about this channel. This channel is about reoccurring patterns that match up around the planet. And what I'm claiming is that these reoccurring patterns are images of processes that take place with inside its core and that these processes are responsible for the creation of the planet. And it's really easy to prove this, in my opinion, by just simply showing you how things realign. But when you look at the surface features on our planet, they tell you a story. And they tell you a story of, of something that has basically split open and turned inside out. And what I want to show you is that the image of the process responsible is embedded in the surface features and the most important feature that proves this is this feature right here that looks like a upside down vortex and what I'm showing you if you just simply look at it sideways here you'll notice that you've got a, a ridge connecting here at the Southwest Indian Ridge and then you have another one connecting here. You can tell that they're related. This looks like the image of spinning because it looks like a it looks like a screw. You got the diagonal lines. It's obviously something is spinning and moving at the same time. And what I want to show you is that there's no reason why these areas should match up anywhere around the planet. And what else I want to tell you is that this is obviously something that has flipped and, and spun around. You can see this in the image, and I just want to show you how this is all related to one another. Okay, so here we got that vortex shape right here. And what I'm claiming is that this vortex shape right here is responsible for all the surface features around the planet. And it's as easy as just simply finding the right way to line them up. Um, you'll see that this vortex has this arch right here. And it has another one right here. And what I'm claiming is that this vortex has moved around through these arches right here. They're, they're actually uh, the matter frozen in the moment as it was moving. So let me show you by matching this up and showing you that these two areas are reoccurring patterns of one another in the most complicated and simplest ways. If you look at this right here and you look at this and then you also look this and this and then watch as I line it up and I'll do it in different colors to make it easier to see. See, as I bring it in, I'm going to move this in, like, right there. You can see that this looks like a ghost image, right there. It matches so well that even this grooved out area also seems to be related to this. See how it matches right in here? And then I bring it, because this is moving through see the alignment but at the same time if you look up here you can see that this arch is matching also as I bring it in this doesn't really look like much here but you can tell that it's somehow related let me back out and move it back and forth if I rotate this a little bit it'll it'll match even better like that see this vortex right here is obviously spinning this down watch as these areas also match up once I find the right match right there but when you look also 
how this matches, you look up at Australia and you can see that it's also fitting within this, uh, these ridges here. And there'll be more on that. You can even tell that the tip of Africa is somehow related in here when I bring it in. But I'll have to do that later. I'll show you more on that. See, look at the the strange similarities between these two and how this vortex shape uh, goes through and ends up here and also next to this rounded area. Right there. It's almost as if obviously this is an image of the process that made India has flipped around. You can see India is over here now. But this gets even better. Let me show you a different color really quick. Okay, I took the color out of it and um, I really want to send my point home. Um, this thing matches so good in so many ways that it's it, it's undeniable if you do your own overlays. But I wanted to show you this as I move this around this vortex will fit in this shape right there. Look at the similarities as I bring them in. See how it fits? This is with the color removed. The outline of this fits in here. You can see this, the darker area underneath. It even fits the, the islands right here as I bring it in. You can see that this is related as I bring it more this way. You can see it's a ghost image. It's moving. See how it fits? As it fits here. Because this obviously has rotated and spun through here. And these are different depths of the same process. See, look. You can even see that this is related to this when I bring it over. So if this is moving and spinning, you can see the tips right here. This is the what made it. Um, look, see? I get what's going on here. This arch and this arch, they look like welds, is the tip of this moving. And to prove it, that this matches, not only does it match, you could tell that this right here is related to this. Look. But if I'm to follow this edge, okay, so what I'm trying to say is that it matches here, but I'm saying that this is made from this moving. So then if I move this following the other image, you can see that it is obviously related. Uh, it's responsible for the features. Look. As I bring it around, you can see that this right here matches right here. See? And then I bring it around and it's matching the images underneath. You can see that they're, this thing is spinning around. But look, it's still matching everything. Look how this is similar to the shape of the islands here. There's no way that plate tectonics can explain this. And remember, look, look how it just fits naturally. But it gets better. There's more to show you. Look, see how it fits as I move it around? You can tell that the tip of Africa is related to this area too. But 
then we have Australia up here. I'm going to show you some things as I move this around to show you that this is all related. Look at how Antarctica seems to fit into the Himalaya Mountains too. And you got this. You got this right here. This hook is the same size as this hook underneath like a reverse J you can tell that this Madagascar is related to these areas below look how this fits in there see how it fit right there this is all coming out of this vortex shape but it gets better it almost too, if you think about it, this area right here looks a lot as if India, if India was to spin through here. See? And then flip around. Um, hold on, let me show you something else. Okay, so now if I take, you see this area here, and then I got this area here. Now if I move this over, and then line it up with the same area that I just showed you here you'll see it realigns again because this is a channel about reoccurring patterns and reoccurring themes they, they'll, they're all the same image over and over again so let me show you what I mean you can see here's Africa you can see that Africa has moved and so has this area right here I've now taken this area and I moved it into this spot so this moved over this probably actually flipped but it matches this way too now look at the similarities here see the arch the arch and you got this traveling here so let me show you when I line them up see how they match see the watch this whole thing matches you could tell that look this is related this arch is the same right here and then I move it this way it matches right here you can see that this is and I know that this already lines up here when I bring it this way this whole thing is related look at the arching and then look at it now here's India you could tell that this is flipped around the this happened what it is it's confusing is these are images that took place at the planet's core so something at the planet's core flipped it not only did it create create India it flipped around it like a pole reversal it flipped over And you can see that, look at the, the markings here. Look how this starts to look like they're related. See the arch? And now our vortex shape is actually starting to line up with India, like I've showed before. And look at Africa sliding in here. Look at the shape here. And this is going to rotate through. I could just see it already. But what's trippy is um, Australia fits into this too. You could tell that these are the features that made Australia. Look at the markings here. You can tell that this feature is related to this as it's coming in. Everything just moved out away from the core of the planet as it was expanding. Look at right here. You see this split here in Australia? Well look at right here. 
as I line these other areas up, you can see that this is related. Look. See? What are the odds? Look at this. You can see that these are features related to Australia. And just like I swung this over, remember? It was sitting here. Here's this arch. And then I moved up to this arch. Well, what happens? And then I showed you that it lined up with Australia. Well, what happens if I move Australia into here now? So we got like one, two, three. So here's this area right here. And then here's Australia. Let me bring this over. And look how it starts to fit the coastline of Australia. And then if I rotate it right here in this peninsula, you can tell that this rotated off of Australia. See? See how it, it look how it fits into the features on Australia. You can see that this is what made the peninsula. Look at the features. How they match the angles and the whole coastline look. And the features inland. Look at the markings on Australia, the mineralization is all related to this look right here up here as it moved through and spun around look the Marianas Trench is also related to Australia. Everything's related to this. Right here. See? As this lines up here, look at up here. matching things are these are moments of time frozen of movements of the processes that took place at this planet's core and it's all observable by matching up the patterns over and over again on the surface features these same patterns right here will match up with North America like they'll match up with every every land feature on this planet I really want to get this out and I want to make this video simple. I hope you guys get it. Um, I'm going to do a, I'll, I'll do a more in-depth video on this, I guess. You know, if there is a geologist or a scientist out there that would be interested in what I'm showing you, if I was to do a personal one-on-one, -on -one, uh, right on a computer uh, in front of them, I guarantee you they would realize that plate tectonics is through. Thanks for watching.